Hey guys, welcome back into our segment of our traffic engineering series. In the last episode or in the past couple of episodes, we have been focusing around TILFA. And in particular, the last episode, we went ahead and did some hands-on around TILFA. We saw how do we can go ahead and configure a TILFA. Also, we explored the zero segment example. So to continue our discussion, in this episode we will go ahead and continue to talk on TLFA and we will go ahead and take an example or do the hands on around the single segment failure or single segment example that means now to reach from source to destination in case of the primary link failure we will go ahead and or the system will go ahead and make use of one extra segment or one more instruction that means i'll go ahead and probably make use of one more label so this is the new topology that i have built and you know uh, we will go ahead and configure the segment routing in this uh, topology so for our reference we will be using router 1 as our source and we will be using router 2 as our destination so that means to reach from this source to this destination the system is always going to use this this primary link and link so this will become our primary path so we are interested in protecting our this primary path in case if this particular path goes down we want this router to take an alternate path so the alternate path would be this link going to router 3 from 3 going to 4 and 4 going going to back to router 2 so that means this particular path is going to become our backup path and in this topology all the links are configured with default metric and all i have not made any special change to any of the metrics or anything and only thing i made sure okay here that this router 1 is able to talk to rest of the router in this topology and i have not done any other configuration if you take a look at if i do show router show run router isis and we do not have any segment routing configuration so let's go ahead and do the segment routing configuration in this topology we will go ahead and assign a set prefix of 1 2 3 and 4 so that's how we will go ahead and assign the set prefix and i usually keep one of my template handy to do this thing so let me go ahead and copy and start applying so we are configuring the segment routing we are assigning a global block and then we are going under isis now we are trying to assign a prefix set to this router we are on router 1 so let's go ahead and give a prefix set of 1 commit the change and let's go ahead and take a look at our forwarding table okay So now we do have the forwarding table. Now let's simply go ahead and do the similar configuration on our router two. Let's log into router two, and let's go ahead and paste the config. Now we will go ahead and assign a prefix set of two to this router. Commit the change, and let's take a look at the forwarding table. And you can see we have started seeing our set prefix of one already. Now let's go log into router three. and we'll go ahead and primarily do the same configuration over here now go ahead and apply the change the prefix set will be in this case is going to be 3 let's go ahead and make a change commit the change let's verify the forwarding again okay looking good so far so good now let's go ahead and log into router 4 let's log into this router and just to show to you guys i do not have anything pre configured we are configuring the things as we go as you can see we are only seeing the adjacent sited and now let me go ahead and configure the sr here now we'll go ahead and configure a prefix index of 4 come at the change let's come out let's take a look at the forwarding table one more time so what we just did we just simply created a sr into our topology now let's go back and come back to the primary route again and if we take a look at the path let's take a look at the cef entry for our destination 192.168.0.2 which is our router node to the loop back address and if i go ahead and simply press enter here it has only one path and that one path is right now we are gigabit ethernet 000 so which is the top path and you can see there are no labels and the local label for this one is 16000 we do not have any other things as of right now configured so that means now we are interested in configuring tlfa uh, for this path and if you remember from the last episode we configure the tlfa under our igp process so in this case our igp process is isis and the link that we are interested in gigabit ethernet 00 so we go ahead and do the same thing 
we'll say RAR ISIS1 we go into interface interface gigabit ethernet 000 and then we need to go under the address family hopefully you recall that and now let's go ahead and enable the fast reroute and again it is based on either per link or per prefix so we are interested in per prefix and then this for per prefix we want the TI LFA based computation so we'll go ahead and say TI LFA and that is the only configuration that we need guys if you remember now let's go ahead and verify the configuration that we just did. We came under our ISIS, we went to our interface, we went to the address family, we went ahead and configured the fast reroute for these two links. Now if we go back and quickly take a look at the Ceph entry one more time now, let's go ahead and take a look at our the Ceph entry that we visualized earlier. And now if you notice to that automatically we do have one more path which is showing up in our topology and this is this path guys. So if you see in this path the very first thing that or let me just go ahead and highlight that for you so you, you can know the difference. So in this output when we ran uh, if you recall it just has you know a, some weight some class and that's all there is nothing really other information here. But now if you come down and if you see with these things, now we have an extra flag that says protected. That means, hey, now this link is protected. That means there is a backup link in this topology. That means in the eventual, if this link happens to fail, there is a backup path already into our topology. That is the reason you would see protected, that this link is now a protected link. And this is our backup path, guys, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at what this backup path is all about. So first of all, it indicates protected. That means we do have backup path. And again, we learned earlier in the last episode, backup TLF, okay, hey, this path is calculated by the TLF. And now the alternate path is taking 001. That means it is going to take this link. If the top link fails, it will go ahead and take this particular link. Okay. Now the repair node in this case, it is our 0 0.4. So this is our P node. In that case, this becomes our point of repair. Okay. This is our P node. So now if you take a look at that, the label that we are still interested in reaching 16,002. But now to reach to 16,002, we are appending or the system is appending one more label, which is 16,004. That means one extra instruction, what one extra label or one extra segment got added to the instructions to reach from node 1 to node 2 in case of this primary link failure. And that extra instruction or that extra segment, which is your one additional label, and this is that one additional label, 16,004. So in case of this link failure, the node one is saying, okay, hey, go to first node four. That means I want to come out of this failure. And to come out of this failure, I will reach to this particular node. And remember guys, we are making use of the prefix SID. And that's what we learned. We use a prefix SID to reach a P node, and that is becomes our P node. So in this case, node 4 is our P node. So we are reaching that node 4 here. And we use adjacency set to reach into the Q space or the Q node. So once we reach to this node 4, node 4 knows how to route the traffic back to node 2 because it will route the traffic on this link. So now we are trying to come out from this failure domain by reaching this and this extra one extra label got added. And this one extra label or additional label or additional instruction is nothing but an example of your TLF a sig single segment failure primarily or single segment example where one extra instruction or one additional label got added to this whole thing. And now if you go ahead and take a look at the backup path. So if you recall that show ISIS IPv4 fast reroute and the fast reroute is to 192.168.0.2 slash 32 and we can go ahead and do a detail here. And that's what we go ahead and uh, see some of the information here. Or I can simply go ahead and say 192.168.0.2. Now there is another thing that we can go ahead and uh, verify. Uh, we can also go ahead and try doing uh, show MPLS forwarding, right? So we can say show MPLS forwarding for labels. And the label in this case is 16,002 and we can go ahead and do a detail on that one. And now for that also we get to see, okay, hey, there is a backup path and to reach that guy, now we are making use of one additional label and that one additional label is 16,004. We can also take a look at, we can do like show route and we can take a look at those route 192.168.0.2. 
So now if you look at your routing table also, within the routing table it says, okay, hey, this route is now a protected route. And for this protected route, the backup route is provided by TLFA. So now we are looking at this is the entry from our RIB, basically routing inform information base. And some of the other information we were looking based on our forwarding table and the Ceph entry. So that is how we can go ahead and configure TLFA for signal segment. And again, you know, once the single segment is configured, you can see that now the system is making use of one extra label or one extra instruction to reach from our source to destination in case of our primary link failure. So that means if this link fail, the system would fall over to this particular path and to reach from node one to node two. And the very first instruction that the node one will make, it will say, hey, use this label to reach node four. And it knows how to route the traffic to node four. So once the traffic is here to node four, from there it says, okay, now go to 16,000 suits. So this will be the route that it will take. So uh, that's kind of, you know, pretty much covers the example for TLFA single segment guys. Again, do some hands on, you know, play around with some of these things. And if you have any questions, uh, do leave me a comment and I will try to answer some of those questions for you. That'll be all for this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.